everyone. Today we'll tell you the reason why B2 Stealth Bomber is unstoppable. Before we start, don't forget to support our channel by pressing the subscribe button below and like this video. Thank you. Air Force pilots of the 1980s era stealthy B-2 Spirit Bomber planned to arm the B-2 with new weapons and upgrade the aircraft to fly the aircraft on attack missions against enemy air defenses well into the 2050s, service officials said. In coming years, the B-2 will be armed with next-generation digital nuclear weapons such as the B-61 Mod 12 with a tail kit and a long-range standoff weapon, or LRSO an air-launched guided nuclear cruise missile, service officials said. The B-61 Mod 12 is an ongoing modernization program which seeks to integrate the B-61 Mods 3, 4, 7, and 10 into a single variant with a guided tail kit. The B-61 Mod 12 is being engineered to rely on an inertial measurement unit for navigation. In addition to the LRSO, B-83, and B-61 Mod 12, the B-2 will also carry the B-61 Mod 11, a nuclear weapon designed with penetration capabilities, Air Force officials said. The LRSO will replace the air-launched cruise missile, or ALCM, which right now is only carried by the B-52 bomber, officials said. Alongside its nuclear arsenal, the B-2 will carry a wide range of conventional weapons to include precision-guided 2,000-pound Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAMs, 5,000-pound JDAMs, Joint Standoff Weapons, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles, and GBU-28 5,000-pound Bunker Buster Weapons, among others. The platform is also prepared to integrate a long-range conventional air-to-ground standoff weapon called the JASM ER for Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range. The B-2 can also carry a 30,000-pound conventional bomb known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. Major Kent Mickelson, Director of Operations for the 394th Combat Training Squadron, told Scout Warrior in an interview. In a special interview designed to offer a rare look into the technologies and elements of the B-2, Mickelson explained that the platform has held up and remained very effective given that it was designed and built during the 1980s. Alongside his current role, Mickelson is also a B-2 pilot with experience flying missions and planning stealth bomber attacks such as the bombing missions over Libya in 2011. It's a testament to the engineering team that here we are in 2016 and the B-2 is still able to do its job just as well today as it did in the 80s. While we look forward to modernization, nobody should come away with the thought that the B-2 isn't ready to deal with the threats that are out there today, he said. It really is an awesome bombing platform. It's just a marvel of technology. The B-2 is engineered with avionics, radar, and communication technologies designed to identify and destroy enemy targets from high altitudes above hostile territory. The glass cockpit includes various digital displays, including one showing synthetic aperture radar SAR, information, which paints a rendering or picture of the ground below. The B-2 has a two-man crew with only two ejection seats. Also, the crew is trained to deal with the rigors of a 40-hour mission. The Air Force currently operates 20 B-2 bombers, with the majority of them based at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. The B-2 can reach altitudes of 50,000 feet and carry 40,000 pounds of payload, including both conventional and nuclear weapons. The aircraft, which entered service in the 1980s, has flown missions over Iraq, Libya, and Afghanistan. In fact, given its ability to fly as many as 6,000 nautical miles without a need to refuel, the B-2 flew from Missouri all the way to an island off the coast of India called Diego Garcia before launching bombing missions over Afghanistan. 
Taking off from Whiteman and landing at Diego Garcia was one of the longest combat sorties the B-2 has ever taken. The bomber was very successful in Afghanistan and very successful in the early parts of the wars in Iraq and Libya, Mickelson added. The B-2 crew uses what's called a long duration kit, which includes items such as a cot for sleeping and other essentials deemed necessary for a long flight. B-2 Mission As a stealth bomber engineered during the height of the Cold War, the B-2 was designed to elude Soviet air defenses and strike enemy targets without an enemy ever knowing the aircraft was even there. This stealthy technological ability is referred to by industry experts as being able to evade air defenses using both high-frequency engagement radar, which can target planes, and lower-frequency surveillance radar, which can let enemies know an aircraft is in the vicinity. The B-2 is described as a platform which can operate undetected over enemy territory and, in effect, knock down the door by destroying enemy radar and air defenses so that other aircraft can fly through a radar corridor and attack. However, enemy air defenses are increasingly becoming technologically advanced and more sophisticated. Some emerging systems are even able to detect some stealth aircraft using systems which are better networked using faster computer processors and able to better detect aircraft at longer distances on a greater number of frequencies. The Air Force plans to operate the B-2 alongside its new, now-in-development bomber called the Long Range Strike Bomber, or LRSB, well into the 2050s. B-2 Modernization Upgrades As a result, the B-2 fleet is undergoing a series of modernization upgrades in order to ensure the aircraft can remain at its ultimate effective capability for the next several decades, Mickelson said. One of the key upgrades is called the Defense Management System, a technology which helps inform the B-2 crew about the location of enemy air defenses. Therefore, if there are emerging air defenses equipped with the technology sufficient to detect the B-2, the aircraft will have occasion to maneuver in such a way as to stay out of their range. <laughs>